west ramp to Roller, North Outer Road. Is this it? No, it is not. All right, so I'm approaching Lone Elk State Park. I'm gonna be doing some hiking. Uh, just as you get to uh, the park, just as you walk in or drive in, um, there is an observatory uh, up here. Your destination is on the right. Oh, I have a ride! There's an observatory tower up here on the, the left. Oh, and there's a donation box. So if you drive through, consider a donation. Uh, I didn't didn't do one this time. I'll do one next time. And you come up to the. You can go two ways here. There's a fork. There's nothing really on the right fork. So it is elk mating season. Yay! So there's a elk laying down here off to the left of the road. Big rack. Nice elk. So, people in front of me are, of course, stopping on the in the, in the road to take a look at him. He is, he is a nice elk. Haven't even got out of the car yet. He's just going to be Chillaxing. Um, people are going to be stopped in the middle of the road. Despite my need to go hiking. So we've got to wait till everybody gets their look. There's the visitor center, which I'm thankful the restrooms are open again. And we're going to go the White Bison Trail. Have to get out of the way of traffic. Hiking only. It's a 3.2 mile loop. And that reminds me to turn on my uh, hiking stuff. So this trail starts out uh, going up a pretty big ridge but it's a gentle climb. So that should be easily doable. There's a deer or something over there. Nope, that's a, that's a log. Oh yeah, gentle, gentle, that's it. Yep, so in uh, Lone Elk Park, you can expect to see elk nuggets. So the, uh, the elk is down there, still laying down there, chilling out, relaxing, and causing people to drive really, really slow. Because when they see him, they're all like, ooh, an elk, an elk. And that's exactly what we want down here. But I am outside the car and standing not too far away from him. Oops. Only got up to seven times zoom. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. But I'm also hiking, so. Yay, elk. Just got to avoid the uh, presence they leave behind. And it's the last time I was here, uh, there was actually a good bit more wildlife, but uh, I didn't see as many elk laying around. Reach down and pick up a couple of acorns. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to grow an oak tree. I think that'd be awesome. I need an oak tree. All 
or maybe I'll be able to bribe an elk into not attacking me or maybe a squirrel who knows yeah so it's starting out <clears throat> a little easy doesn't mean the whole thing is is easy you can see it's a uh, moderate Because it does get a little steep. But it's not steep and rocky, which uh, is a little bit better. Of course, I'm not putting my heels down very much, so. Yeah, it's a bit of a workout. Not a bad thing. I get up here and turn around, but that's where we came from. So with this being a uh, kind of a wildlife preserve and a fairly small one at that as far as total volume goes uh, contrary to my usual uh, I think here it's, it's kind of important to stay on the path uh, there's some offshoot, uh, like four-wheeler trails, stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of important, or more important, to stay on the trail here. Uh, just to preserve, uh, preserve that trust, I guess, the, uh, the animals in the park have. So they have their off-trail safety zones and stuff like that. And it makes them a little bit more comfortable with people walking through and getting a chance to see them. And I think that's part of the magic of Lone Elk Park is the uh, increased opportunity to see uh, deer in the mostly wild deer and elk but uh, they'll they're a lot calmer here than if you encounter them on a lot of the other trails because a lot of the other trails still have open season hunting and uh, the deer are a lot more skittish in those areas and I think after a couple of generations here, they just pick up that, hey, in this area, there's no hunting. Which is, which makes for a lot more awesome encounters. So you'll be able to stand there, uh, like the, the one I just filmed, and look at them and watch them for a few minutes when you usually won't get the chance to do that on most uh, open area trails Stay on the path. so here's kind of a decision point for a lot of people they uh White Buffalo Trail keeps going down that way. But uh, there's also a loop or a path to the road. And a lot of people, like I did last time, uh, go back at this point. Um, not exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to keep going on the trail. 
unlike last time. Can't believe I wore motorcycle boots to go hiking. Super silly. Am I still zoomed in? I am still zoomed in. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> now that we're back to normal. Let's get through that. So one of those things I was talking about, the elk feeling secure, is right there. It's just chilling out right there and I can stand and, and watch him. Whoops, sorry. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if there's another one up around there. It's just chilling out. Now I did get to pretty much eight zoom on that one, but I'm standing here watching him. And that is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Let me get a... Well, that's six. That's six zoom. But that is still pretty cool. Just sitting up there chomping away. I'm standing here not 80 yards from him. Just standing up there looking. And that's pretty awesome that he feels comfortable enough. To, uh, well, let's see, where's he? He is, he's right there. And uh, that's not way too far away. And that's pretty cool. And I get to leave him in peace and keep walking. Wait a minute, there's a couple behind me. I'm gonna let them know he's there. Now, I don't know how close this trail is going to go to where, to the where I'm about to point this camera. But, um, it, that's the pavilion at 7.9 zoom, standing out there just nibbling the grass. Elk, there's an elk standing there nibbling the grass. 7 point something zoom. So I'm gonna, Stand here and enjoy. All right, so now we're apparently walking along the road for a little bit uh, to get up here to the other side of the lake and uh, go through there. Oddly enough, the decision point to get back on the road that I mentioned is right there. So it's like right across the field. And um, yeah, you got a lot of, lot of things to dodge as you're walking up through here. And you walk across the road and get back on the trail. Right here, which kind of at the edge of the pond, little lake. I'm gonna go ahead and call that a pond. Now, if I recall correctly, up here there's also a uh, some kind of structure building. Last time I came up here, well, no, I mean, last time I was on this trail, which has been quite some time, I think there was something dead on top of the roof. Not real sure. Not really sure where that is either. Might get to it, might not. That is a very level place to stop and have a break if I was ready for that yet. Which I'm not. 
oddly enough. Might not have completely wasted my hiking uh, conditioning. So, uh, keeping on the east trail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, this is actually actually pretty moderate definitely not easy easy but um yeah i'm gonna go with the all trails labeling it as moderate i mean it's not as challenging as it could be and right now i wish i'd brought my hiking sticks trekking poles whatever you want to call them so it would make this descent a little easier a little more difficult to do with the camera going I guess oh but definitely definitely safer and easier on the knees yeah so uh, need to remember my next time here take your trekking poles Because they uh, they come in useful. And it turns it from a just legs workout to a full body workout. Really confused as to which one to take. But I'll take the low road, you take the high road, and I'll be to Scotland the 40. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road, and I'll be to Scotland at 40. Ah, oh, there's the building I was thinking about. And oddly, it's right on the road. So... Wondering how I knew there was something dead on top of it. You just stand up at the top of the trail, and you can see down. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, there's cars. Yeah, that's the caravan of cars. Bet they didn't suspect to see a Sasquatch with a backpack. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not sure I'm with this, but uh, there is a mama elk staring at me, and her uh, her baby's wandering off into the woods there. So uh, yeah, not sure how entirely comfortable I am with with her staring at me like that. But uh, there she is. Now that's 5.7 zoom there. And there's another mama. Okay, that's probably the baby's mama. So that makes me a little more at ease. I'm trying to see when the baby's going to catch up. There he comes. There he comes. There he's catching up. It is mating season, so that might not be mama. That might not be mama. Oh, but that was awesome to see. And you probably cannot, could not have seen that from the from the uh, road up there. That's where they went. And at 5.7, so it's a little hard to keep steady. That's at one. Now I can see them, but uh, yeah. That was awesome. All right, 
another hill. Okay, so there's tons of them around here. Oh, but man, yeah, getting to the point where I could use a little sit down after all the excitement and all these hills. But uh, I'm on top of one of the hills now. So, oh boy. And um, here is one of the things that, uh, huh. so uh, I'm on the trail and they're pretty much on the trail. Uh, so, so uh, what do you do at this point? So there's four of them, and I mean, they're on the trail. Uh, huh. So yeah, that, um, let's see, get a 4.4 zoom in there. I think there's four, could be three. Oh, whoop. There's a, another one there. So four at least. One, two, three, four. One looks to be a baby. So. Question now becomes, uh, what do I do in this situation? Uh, Cause I mean, they're, like right there and they're on the trail uh, says do not approach the elk um, but there's also keep on the trail and I think I am going to uh, go off the trail a little bit Yep, yep, because there are babies involved. And, uh, I don't know. Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, there are babies involved. So, huh. Diverting off the trail, and pretty glad I did, because there's also a big buck up there. I'm just going to ease around. Oh boy, they're getting up. That's pretty awesome. Do not like that they got up, or one of them got up, but um, you know, By and large, they are very large. Well, look at that. Might not be a baby involved, but. Definitely some cows. That's a good shot. 4.8 zoom. Is that a white tail down there? With Okay, we've got some elk coming up here. And that looks like a white tail. Awesome. So that is at 9.3 zoom. So they're not really, really, really close. But yeah, it's uh, still awesome. Yeah, those are right on the trail. 
I took a, yeah, I took a wide. I had to take 15 minutes because there was a bull in front of the trail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, two well. cows, and I was like, yeah, I don't think I want to. And I'm looking at the white-tailed deer down there. He's kind of right in front of me. He's kind of staring at them. <laughs> oh, so it's a profile. I see. Yeah. See, it blends right into that tree. He does. He was like right in front of it. So these guys are on the trail. All right. Seven point eight zoom. More of the mama and the baby. And the uh, white tail is still standing, absolutely still. Blends in extremely well. So you can barely see him. Oh, there he is. There he's going. He's walking. Look at that rack. Got the tail up, so he's on alert. He was definitely staring at those two going, why are you walking up to me? Oh, that is awesome. Wonder if I can... I lost the white tail. Can't tell, oh, there he is. Yep, looking straight at me. I'd look straight at me too. I'm pretty awesome. Yeah, back to one zoom. Oh, that's pretty freaking awesome. Whole family still up there, by the way. So there's one right there. There's one right there. Yeah, they're still up there. Just casually watching my every move. That's awesome. The uh, the close encounter there was kind of tense. Did not like when they stood up. Of course, they started walking away from me, so that's a good sign. But yeah, for that bull there, you, just, you do not want to get charged by an elk because you're walking too close to its family. Just walking through the park and seeing the elk like right there. It's pretty awesome. Right in this area, again, there's one down there. 4.3 zoom. Man, this is just. Like, can't get any hiking done. <laughs> and as big as the elk are, um, they're really easy to, like, right there. Don't see an elk. Seven zoom. Just hanging out. And I walked. Way too close. Well, I guess not way too close because she was cool with it. But like almost did not see her. So uh, that's one of the things that come face to face with such a large animal and like not even notice it. Or come real close. Oh boy. Now that is something I didn't really expect to see. That is some old coyote skit. Whoops. One, there we go. Old Cody's got definitely not 
what I expected to see. Didn't think there were coyotes in here. But I guess you can't keep them out. Because coyotes can jump 12 foot fences if uh, they really want to. Especially uh, <laughs> if they're places for their paws to catch. Coyote will just climb right over it. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. And so, walking along, again with the barely able to see them. That's at 5 zoom, 4.9. There she is, just nibbling away. Pretty awesome, right? And so that goes back to the what I was saying earlier about uh, you give them their space and uh, they'll be much more likely to stick around and let other people see them. Let's see, where is she? Oh, there she is. So she is right there. A little speck there. Let's see if I, can... ah, I can't zoom in or out in this mode. Oh well. She's like still right behind me, just grazing along. And I think that is freaking awesome. Just enjoy the moment and move along. Because that way other people will have the chance to come through enjoy the moment and move along and oh my god this is a little bit overgrown but it's a good plot spot for for the deer to hide lay down in the middle of this and it's gonna be real difficult to see them And here we are at the end of the trail. We are at the end. A little bit away from the visitor center, just a little bit down the road. So one of the good things about hiking at Long Elk is you have the opportunity to go see some bison on the way out. So let's hope I do. So it looks like um, there might be some bison. Of course, um, it also looks like, oh yeah, the dude is right in the freaking road. Damn. Um, so yeah, the traffic backup might not be too great. There. I saw the one big one standing there. Yeah, so that's pretty zoomed in there. 4.7, 4.6. Yeah, he is still just right there in the road. I am. Bull. Watch me roar. <laughs> or uh, go around me. Whatever. I'm moving right along. But he is not the only one right on the side of the road. This guy's a little smaller though. And you got that one right up there. Look at that. That's a 
six Alright, so apparently this is just a, an extra special freaking day for seeing the elk. Or, I mean, I have, I've driven through, I've seen the elk, I have seen the deer, I have seen the buffalo, but this is just uh, extra. I mean, I have, have not seen it like this before. Um, this is just awesome. All right, so I'm not sure how long <laughs> it's going to take, but there's a big elk walking right between the cars, uh, right around him. I mean, he's just hanging out. I don't know what it's going to be like when I get up there, but um, I'm hoping he's still around. There's, oh, man, damn. All right, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. But dude is just standing in the road. It's like, uh, yeah, y'all ain't going anywhere. You got his elk over there. <laughs> and of course at the time I zoom in, dude pokes his head out. I mean even from back this way his antlers are just amazing. I would not want to get my car scratched by one of those. Wow, just freaking wow. Yeah, today's uh today has been an extra treat. And he was just standing there. Little final extra treat on the way out. That was about four